Her lips look sore. That's how you're making your cash out there? <laughs> what do you say you and I move away from mom together? It's a promise. You're leaving? Yeah, as soon as I have the money. When are you coming back? Never. As a director, I wouldn't like to spoon feed the audience about who they should like and who they shouldn't like. I, it's for them to decide. We're just gonna state some facts in the story and it's gonna be this character encounter each other and, and you have to decide who's the good guy, who's the bad guy, who deserves to die, who doesn't. And, um, and I think that makes for entertaining movies. Yo, I got our ticket out of here. Rumor is this guy is sitting on at least 300K. Boom! That's her guy. Wait, is he blind? We messed up to rob a blind guy, isn't it? Just because he's blind don't mean he's insane, bro. Guys, money's probably in there. Who's there? Stay right there. How many of you are there? It's just me, man, all right? Just let me go, please. He's created, you know, he, he, he lives within this house. Right now we're doing this interview in part of the basement of the uh, set. And uh, it's, it's, it's not a small house, but he understands kind of every square foot of it. He knows where everything is. He's very, very organized. So he's kind of created this universe in which he can operate. Fede is good at this sort of anti-hero thing, where you think one character is a hero and the other character is the bad guy and the other character is the enabler, but he plays with those roles and Rocky is our bad guy, good guy, where you are rooting for her, but you also know what she's doing is bad. I mean, that's the hope anyways. And so she's sort of a challenge in that way to make her likable. Now you're gonna see what I see.